lady with a life story whose details make you breathless. First, she's the sister of the rock singer Jerry Lee Lewis, and she doesn't mind doing his numbers as well as her own. But it's not only music where there are similarities between brother and sister. Jerry Lee caused a scandal when he married his 13-year-old cousin back in 1958. Linda Gale has had seven marriages, the first of those when she was just 14. Well, tonight, rock fans at the Ambassador Club in Huddersfield are in for a treat. And so are we, because Linda Gale Lewis will be singing for us in a moment. But first, she's going to submit herself to a few questions. Are you as wild as you sound? Well, I hope so. <laughs> this is rock and roll music. But I was also intrigued by the, uh, the seven marriages. That's one less than Elizabeth Taylor. Are you chasing her record? I may be after it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But well, going back to the beginning, I suppose growing up in a house with Jerry Lee Lewis, was it possible you could have done anything else apart from be a rock singer? Well, I was influenced greatly by his music. He's my favorite entertainer in the whole world. I love his music and I love him. And so, yes, I've been influenced by him. I mean, he has shaped you as a performer, has he, and your musical taste and the way you perform? Oh, definitely. I mean, he's, he's so great, and I worked with him for 15 years, so how could I not be influenced by him? I told him one time, I said, I know I play a little bit like you, but why not? I mean, I wouldn't play like Pat's Domino. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could try. But, I mean, was there a time in your career, though, when, as you say, you worked with him for 15 years, you suddenly thought, look, you know, I've got to break out from under his spell, I've got to be, you know, Linda Gale Lewis, a performer in my own right. So you had to put him at some professional distance. Well, he felt it was for the best, too, and really, when you start getting older, I think you feel that maybe something's passing you by. And I hadn't done this. I had done everything else, but I hadn't played music on my own. Mm. So I thought, well, I'd better do it now. But the other thing which I wanted to ask you, I mean, that first marriage at 14, his, first, his bride was, was, was 13, <laughs> was that a sort of imitative action as well? It was really traumatic, to say the least. I don't recommend it for 14-year-old young ladies at all. Do you think it's too early to get married? I think they should wait longer than that. I think it's also illegal in this country <laughs> as well, apart from anything else. But uh, was it very difficult in the family, though, when, when he married and all that to trouble? You know, we, we felt the scandal over here. I remember it myself. Yes, Jeff, it, it was really hard. But we, we love it over here so much, and the English people have been so good to us, and mm. I'd rather play here than anywhere. Mm. But you've got, let me ask you this, you've, you've got so many sort of musical talents, I mean, rock and roll, rhythm and blues. I mean, do you deliberately sort of go for a wide musical range? I do because I enjoy all kinds of music, but I do more rock and roll than anything else because that's what my brother played the most. And I grew up close to the fire, and, and I really like that. I enjoy it the most. Well, we're looking forward to hearing you sing in just a moment. You probably don't know that our weatherman, Bob Rust, does a very good version of Great <laughs> Balls of Fire, but he'll continue himself now with the weather forecast. Well, that's all for calendar for this week. But now, as promised, here's Linda Gale-Lewis to Rock and Roll Calendar, and hopefully you too, into the weekend. Have a good one. Good night.